wake up early in the morning and get ready and I can feel the nerves coming in and my body has a reaction to nervousness Today is September uh, 2nd and it's 8 a.m. and I woken up to the surprise of everyone and as all the kids do, everyone is starting school on September 2nd and so am I. I will be starting for like speaking for the radio in Latvian radio house <laughs> and I'm nervous <laughs> I really wanted to try something completely new completely different and yeah it's gonna happen and I wanna see if I'm any good at that so right now I make up I like doing it. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. A two month study course. So for two months I will be doing radio, I guess. No, not radio, but like learning how people make the recordings and the way they speak and how they speak correctly. I didn't want to be late on my first day. So I got up at 8, but actually it doesn't start until 12. So I wonder um, if I'm going to be ready in time. Well, I just want to have some rest before going. This is, this is, this is completely new for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it looked very interesting trying to get the sleepiness off of my face right now. Yeah. So obviously I'm not the best speaker. Um, so that is why I'm a little bit intimidated by people who do have the regular person ability to speak and say words. I just hope I can match up with the rest of the group. It's actually a very small group. It's only eight people. I'm a very, I think, a lot before I say something. That's why I talk fairly slowly and want to say the right thing. But I want to try and become more like fluid. So, because usually when I make the videos, I have a little script and I almost read two sentences from the script, learn them, then look in the camera and repeat. And it can come off as kind of like robotic and scripted. So I want to be able to not worry too much about the words falling in the right places or miss saying something. I think that would be good practice for gaining some confidence at least. I've heard a lot of people say that, especially after starting YouTube and posting. Even if no one is watching, you still have to talk to the camera, you try to build your self-confidence and, and you can see yourself change and learn on camera. I definitely need more practice. Also, confidence. Interestingly enough, talking to the camera right now has calmed down my nerves. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like real nervous just now. I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> When I tell people that I'm going to be trying something new, doing courses in radio, everyone's like, what? Radio? Because I actually am an artist by trade with like a degree and all. So saying that I'm going to 
Sky Radio is completely random. However, I actually would want to be like so many things. I want to be an artist. I want to be a model. I want to be a spokesperson. I want to be on TV. I want to be on the radio. I want to be on the stage. I want to sing. I want to act. I want to like. I want to do a lot of things that I realize that I cannot do. Um, all of that and many things just because like I don't really have the ability but I'm gonna start with the little things like radio and I have the art down I know uh, graphic design is my trade I do painting crafting and I want to do something more that would give me more personality as a person and I think that training your talking muscle is gonna help with some uh, progress and I will not be as scared to talk or like a public speech because in the past when I have had to do public speaking it has been terrifying <laughs> but at the same time there's so much that I want to tell I want to talk that how am I gonna do that if I'm like scared of speaking up or talking in a, on a stage for example because like uh, once I was I had an ex exhibit of like my artworks and I thought I was just gonna go there for the opening day and just hang out and people are gonna like see the work and whatever not I was suddenly asked to go in front of everyone and like talk a little more about my artworks and I was like oh my god I was terrified I tell myself not to like say no or say no 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 I'm not gonna do it I say oh okay so I just go and I do it I'm terrified and I want to die but after I'm done, it feels like the best thing ever. It's like, oh my God, look at me go. Look at me talk. I can do this. People were listening. People were asking questions. I can do this. And still <laughs> feeling like a child in a world of like, what am I even doing? And how is everyone adulting? And I need to start doing that too. A good first step, even if I will not like it and I quit it, at least I tried. I remind myself that I can always like leave if something is not right or I don't like something and not like locked in anything. I think I ended up with a bat wing instead of a cat eye. Finally home in comfy clothing. So when autumn hits, I take out my knits. Well, actually I take them out in June or July because I'm cold all the time. So why am I filming like this? Only for one reason because I want to showcase my awesome new phone case. Anyways, so I was freaking out today before going to the radio house and now that I'm home I'm like why did I freak out? It was fine. So let me tell you all about how it went today and it was quite fun. Get into the table. Get into the table. Hmm. It's a lot easier for me to film videos like this when I set up just my phone and like in the makeup section because like setting up the camera on a tripod feels so official and then I feel like I need a script and yeah, this is a lot easier <laughs> and faster. So yeah, today I was kind of nervous about going into this new adventure which is the radio house but I have been wanting to do this for quite a long time and not many know that I signed up for this course in winter in January but I got sick and I couldn't go but I signed up in I think April but I got sick and I couldn't go certain fear that I'm gonna get sick the third time and I'm gonna have to decline the position in the courses it's just that there's only select 
amount of people that can go. It's not like there's a process where you um, are evaluate where you are evaluate 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 evaluated. This is why I need the course. <laughs> Anyone can sign up, but if the class is full, you can only go like the next time, like after like two months and after three months, whatever. I was scared that this time I'm gonna get sick again. So the day comes, which is today, which is probably not the same day when I'm posting the video. I wake up early in the morning, get ready, and I can feel the nerves coming in, and my body has a reaction to nervousness like i cannot eat i cannot like do anything i have no energy i feel horrible <laughs> just because i don't know where i'm going i don't know how it's gonna be i don't i've never been there so i don't know the situation i don't know the people i don't know how i'm gonna get in there if like everything's gonna be accessible enough always like that i'm extremely nervous and at the moment when i enter the building i'm fine we got to the security and they have this um, contraption that goes up and down the stairs like the uh, wheelchair lift so that was one of the accessibility things that they did have which is great because not every old building has has these things and this is quite an old building i cannot say how old i might put in the info right here um so yeah i had to go like down the stairs and then to an elevator which took us upstairs and uh, the whole time I have like an assistant with me and with all my um, nervousness in the morning when I was getting ready and everything I didn't get any like pen or like a notebook or anything and I, <laughs> I come into the room and everyone is sitting there with like a notepad and like a pen and I'm just like I need to learn again how to be a student. It's uh, six people, like the students and the teacher that has been um, a talk show host on the radio for 30 or more years and she was just brilliant at what she does and she taught us like so much in this tiny little time that we just started learning. And for half an hour we took a stroll around the uh, whole building seeing some studios and uh, recordings happening stuff like that extremely exciting for me like I love uh, TV I love radio I love technology I love uh, I can't do those things just by my own randomly so I gotta learn and yeah and yeah basically people just come to like learn it's not like they're gonna instantly aim for like a radio talk show host it's similar like me that like i would love to maybe host something or talk on the radio or read something for the radio however it's not like i'm going there to get the radio job nor are like they are going in there to get the radio job they're just going there to learn which is great starting everything my anxiety just eva evaporates and I get to like participate and I always like to be like an active student, especially when it comes to small settings. The courses happen twice a week, so um, uh, the next time we meet we're gonna be starting recording our talking and analyzing. Studia Art Thailand. Henningui laulātajiem pāri bija pieci bērni, trīs meitenes un divi zēni zīmi mīlestību, makšķerēšanu un nedībām. Vēl klarēns zīmācīja dēlam silpur, kad sāp. Studijā bija Arta Teimāne. I wanted to sort of vlog this experience. Uh, why not? I can see that I keep saying, so yeah, so like, so but I need to stop saying so yeah so I will be seeing you next time on an update or a video I make next because I make things randomly
Hemingway lālātajiem pārim bija pieci bērni, trīs meitenes un divi zāni. Vecākajiem bērnam bērnu vārdu Ernests. Kad zāns paaugās, tās no acīm viņam iet